Hey Pisces, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. Thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. We got 1111 on the clock, on the actual clock at my time, not, not on the timer at the bottom. <laughs> um, I just happened to look up and it's 1111 a.m. So Pisces, maybe that means something to you. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good for anyone with Pisces placements or anyone else who's guided to see this reading. What do we need to know about it? It is the Pisces reading. It is a weekly reading, but it could resonate any day, week, month, year, any time anyone's guided to see it for whatever reason. What else do we need to know? Pisces reading. What do we need to know? Okay, well, all right. So we got the Page of Cups and the King of Cups, and they're both reversed. And I want to keep them together. They came out together, so I'll put another one up here. All cards of moving forward up top, all of them. Whoa! I don't know if you just saw the way they flipped over those two cards when they flew out. All right, let's talk about this. So we've got here King of Cups and Page of Cups, both reversed. And look at how, like, Pisces is trying to make an offer to the King of Cups, and he's, he won't even look at Pisces. What is going on here? Are you, have you put your heart on the line for somebody who's not giving back? And this could all, you know, this could be Pisces as well. So however it works, but this is normally Pisces and this is sometimes Scorpio for me, but it could be anybody. King of, king of love, but not looking at Pisces, not accepting the offer or not engaging in some way. Um, this person could have a wall up or if it's you, you could have a wall up and keeping everyone at bay, not really interested, maybe searching for your hopes, wishes, and dreams elsewhere. Some of us are not looking for love. And if someone comes in like this, like, Hey, and we turn away, it's not because we're trying to be mean. It's just not that we're, it's not what we're looking for. Right? So anyway, we've got the three of wands, somebody who's trying to call in their manifestation. And what is it they're trying to call in? their hopes, wishes, and dreams, right? When that ship comes in, it's carrying these manifestations, hopes, wishes, and dreams. That's what this person does. They manifest in their dreams to move forward with the chariot and the knight of staves. Your cards just kind of fell out in a specific order that made me see exactly what was going on here. So you are getting ready to move forward. You could have felt really hemmed in um, there could have been, I mean, there could have been someone who made you feel, you know, we have the control factor here of the emperor and the full reverse. You could have been dealing with, these are both Aries cards. It doesn't mean you had to be dealing with an Aries, but this could have been a boss, a father figure, a husband, a boyfriend, a brother, anyone that made you feel like you couldn't move forward. Like this is like, I'm, it's like a control thing. Like, um, someone else could have had the control in your situation and you're trying to get control in your life and you don't want someone else controlling something, right? Whatever it is. Um, now this could be you busting free from the control as well, which looks like you're going to be moving along just fine. It could have been, like I said, a biz, uh, boss or something. Um, so we have here the three of swords reversed. Okay. So I feel like you've been through this three of swords and you're healing from this three of swords. Um, I feel like, could you, this person could have betrayed you or made you feel in some way hurt. I don't see what they did, but either way, it doesn't really matter. You're healing your heart and you're getting ready to move forward here. Two very healing cards, this, this star and the three of swords reversed. Just showing that you are now healed from something. You could have been in a third party with these threes showing up like this. Um, like I said, there could have been, it could have been a partnership here. Could have been anything, right? So anyway, we don't want to dwell on the past. We want to look at the future. So let's go with that. We've already shuffled all these decks. So I'm just going to give a quick shuffle as we chat. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good, what do we need to know about this Pisces reading for anyone who's interested, anyone who's guided, anyone who will be guided on a different date is fine as well. What do we need to know? Okay, yeah, we're leaving something behind right there. The Eight of Chalices. You are off on a new journey, leaving whatever this emotional baggage is behind. You might be leaving an Aries behind as well or somebody who comes off as the Emperor. All right. Now, this emperor could be your own energy, 
Like I'm taking control back of my life. I've been unable to move forward and I'm controlling my own destiny. So if you weren't dealing with an emperor, this could be your own emperor energy of I take control and I move forward. I leave the past behind. I don't need to stay dwelling on something. Hey, somebody could have rejected you, right? Let's get right down to this. I want to know about this page of cups reverse, king of cups reverse. What do we need to know about page of cups reverse, king of cups reversed? Yeah, it's over. That's done. Whatever that is, it's done. Because why? Somebody was taking advantage of somebody with the Five of Swords. And we're not going to do that anymore. All right. Tell me about the Chariot and Knight of Staves. They both are saying the same thing to me here. Chariot and Knight of Staves. Just one or two. One travels by sea and one travels by land. The Knight of of staves and the chariot what do we need to know here please okay seven of swords reversed came out it's almost a challenge but it's a little bit more in the reverse seven of swords reversed. now you might be leaving in the night like i am so out of here too much drama for me and this might be your energy of you might have already left in the night you might have left look at this look at this group of people Three of Cups, Reverse, Five of Wands. You, this is your own energy. Of I'm, I left these people behind. I feel like you're ending it. You're leaving in the night. You're putting up your protection. You're leaving the past behind. Tell me about the stabs here, the Seven of Stabs. This was for your own protection. Yeah, I'm done. You might have cut off family members. Four of Wands, Reverse, Queen of Swords, whatever. This is, I protect myself. I protect myself all. And look, I kid you not, I feel like this was family. Tell me, if they weren't family, they felt like family to you. And you just couldn't take the BS anymore. Tell me about the star here. The star is that uh, wish fulfillment that you're calling in. We got two cards that came out on their side as a challenge. The nine of pentacles reverse and the three of cups in the upright this time. So, uh, but they both came out as a challenge. So busting free from the group and becoming independent has been a challenge for you, but it's something you want. This is going to lead you to wish fulfillment as well. I feel like you couldn't do this before. I don't know why, but look at the bottom. You look at this. Oh my God. Look at this energy at the bottom. You got to see this. You could not move forward. You got the Knight of Pentacles reversed. You got the Knight of Swords reversed. And you've got the Two of Swords and the Three of Wands because you couldn't decide to bust free from whatever this is and move forward. It's like you would have had to leave the you would have had to leave people in the past. Six of Cups reversed. But it was an unhappy past. And it's here with the Five of Swords unhappy unjust unfair treacherous past that you were hurt in you've you're done you have you're done you've walked away you left in the night or whatever you did you just ghosted i don't know what but whatever this is it's for your protection i cannot deal with this and this has been a long time coming this is something that was very difficult for you this did not come lightly for you at all this was a long time coming, but it is going to lead to lead to wish fulfillment. And the star card again, I feel like it's very much could be your energy, um, especially since a Pisces could also be a Aquarius Pisces cusper, and that's why we have the Queen of Swords coming through as well. I feel like this reading is going to be very strong for a Pisces Aquarius cusper. Um, I feel like, especially if you have any kind of like you could have Cancer, you could have Scorpio in your chart. I mean, not Scorpio, Sagittarius. Yeah, you could have Scorpio too. It's all here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sagittarius, and Aquarius are here very strongly. And don't forget, we do have this Aries energy back here of you taking control of your life or you're literally leaving an Aries. This could be a husband, a boss, a lover. It could be anything, anybody. Um, this could have been something in some group related situation where you were not being treated fairly and you just were like, bye, I'm done. 
Wow, you are just taking control of your life here. Now, keep in mind, if this isn't you doing this, this could be a Cancer doing this. This could also be a Sagittarius doing this. It could be even a Scorpio doing this. I don't feel like it's the Scorpio, but it could be. It could be. Or a um, definitely an Aquarius. Okay, or um, yeah, or a Libra. All right, let's get some information here. What do we need to know here? Or Gemini, yeah. It could be Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and Sagittarius and Aries come through very strong. And I know a lot of you don't like me giving out the signs, but just ignore it. Okay, guys, I can't. I know everybody wants what they want, but I got to do the right thing by everybody. And giving them out is fair. You can either take them or leave them. But what's not fair is not giving them out because that's not fair to the people that want them. All right, so I'm doing my best over here. So bear with me. Angels, what do we need? I, I don't think Pisces really complains about this, but you would be surprised. There's a few signs that are more complainy than others, and you guys are not one of them, thankfully. So thank you guys so much. Um, thank you so much, Pisces, for not being a complainy sign. Um, <laughs> <laughs> angels what do we need to know here for this reading oh wow we got a lot i didn't mean to take this much but let's just see okay yeah releasing absolutely i see somebody escaping releasing and ending and cutting ties with the past i mean like done it was about divine timing is why it was so difficult it took some time because you needed to you mean it needed to be sure i mean we don't just cut and run from people that we considered family and i saw that in here unless we absolutely know it's in our highest good right we need a simpler more peaceful life we need more fun in our life and more joy in our life play and joy this just tells me that spirit encourages this because you needed to have a simpler more fun and joyful life this this split is for your best and highest good Getting in your chariot and going is the way to go. Okay, somebody is, I, I absolutely feel for some of you, you are moving. And if it's not you, it's one of the signs I've talked about here. Anyway, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this reading. Please do um, comment down below and let me know if you know what this is at all. It, of course, it's going to be slightly different for each of you. I feel like somebody here is on a journey of freedom on a journey and a quest towards happiness and joy um it's really nice it's a time for new beginnings it's a time to cut and and release do let me know guys if this makes sense to you um i hope that you enjoyed it please don't forget to like the video it helps the channel um, and if everything you need to know is in the description area beneath this video, again, there's tutorials out there for anyone who would like to donate to the channel or book a reading. Booking a reading is another way of donating to the channel, right? Anyway, guys, thank you so much. Have a good one. And thank you for all of you that have booked. Your readings are coming out this week if you booked a couple weeks ago. But those of you who booked this past week after the holiday your readings will be coming out like tuesday wednesday thursday friday like i have everybody booked that week um for anyone who booked this past weekend i everybody books on the weekend so you know you'll know who you are i probably will have reached out to you anyway guys if i haven't i will have a great week guys um happy holidays to those of you that celebrate easter or passover have a great beautiful blessed time with your family okay and those of you that don't have a great beautiful blessed week talk to you soon bye